it's simple to see it's said magic tv so the world can believe it's said magic tv it's simple to see it's said magic tv so the world can believe it's said magic tv what's going on at magic tv we have one of the best child actors in the world <laughs> <laughs> From the famous TV sitcom Married with Children, David Faustino. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are You're you? Looking very handsome oh, as what, usual. Well, thank you. That's nice. I'm a, I was a big fan actually. Thank you. You know, um, I used to watch that all the time. You I did? still do. Good. Actually, on the reruns. Well, that's good. So thank tell you. us what's going on with you. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm sitting. We're sitting here in my backyard in the Hollywood Hills. Yes. And uh, it's, really it's, nice. a, it's a lovely day. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sitting here hanging out. And uh, uh, right now, I'm, I'm working on a show that I created for um, Sony's uh, on online outlet, which wow. is called uh, Crackle.com. I created a show for them with my partners called Starving. Wow. Which is uh, basically based on my life. It's taking my life and like really just exaggerating the the, the hell out of it. Uh -huh. And like, I play this like sort of down and out, destitute character. But it's all like really over the top, slapstick, like stupid funny. Uh -huh. And uh, it's it's pretty cool. In the first twelve episodes, we have guest stars like um, we have the entire Married with Children cast come oh, back wow. for an episode, which is That's cool. Awesome. Yeah, everybody's in it: Christina, Ed, Katie. Uh, and then we have uh, Gilbert Gottfried and Seth Green and. Uh, you know, we have this great first cast, and um, it's, it's a lot of fun. So, so it's at crackle.com is where people can see it. You can also see it at Hulu, and uh, and now Sony is uh, going to take it out and to pitch it to a uh, television network. So. That's awesome. Yeah, so well. right now it's a, just a, it's a, TV, it's a series online. It's an online series, Crackle.com. Yeah. Crackle.com. And it's already premiering? It's already up now. All 12 episodes are up. It premiered uh, this year, and, and all 12, you know, tw one a week. And now mm -hmm. they're all up. You can check them out, like I said, at Hulu or at Crackle.com. Yeah. And just search Starving. Starving, yes. Starving? Yeah, we yeah. can just Google Starving. That's very interesting because I don't think, I don't see you as Starving. We're live, you know, we're up in Hollywood Hills at his place, so I don't yeah, see well, no. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, that's the whole thing. It's kind of like, you know, people haven't seen me in a few years, right. so they don't know, they wonder. So we just decided, well, what would happen if, you know, this guy, you know, me and my buddy, who my, my buddy is in it from that show Parker Lewis can't lose. Uh -huh, right, 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 right. He played Parker. Uh -huh. uh, he plays my best friend. He plays my like my roommate. That's and awesome. And we're both just like scraping, literally scraping by the eat. That's pretty right. Funny, yeah. Wow, scraping by the eat. But uh, well, I I'm sure the whole world wants to know because you said you know you haven't been in this scene for a while. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Uh, let's see. Well, when I got off Married with Children for the first couple years, I just did nothing and just hung out and uh -huh. uh, enjoyed. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah, exactly, enjoy life. Yeah. yeah, and then I started getting back into it and uh, I f we formed a company with my with my two partners, my two uh, business partners about two years ago. And uh, we, we produced one film with National Lampoon called RoboDoc. Oh, nice. And uh, then our, our first project that we really got set up well, actually, we produced another show online for MySpace TV called Rules of the Game, oh, wow. which was one of their top, uh, the most hits they've hits. ever gotten. Yeah, they got over six million hits. And oh, like, wow. Yeah. And so, so they did really well. And then uh, Starving is our, our third project that we've got set up. That's and awesome. now we have, um, you know, we're setting up some other projects around town, and, you know. You know how things move Right, slowly. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I, and I have so much questions to ask you. I guess, okay. you know, I know Married with Children was uh, going on for like about ten years, right? Yeah, uh, we did. We did eleven seasons. Yeah. Eleven seasons. That's yeah, awesome. Right. So, like, before you got with Married with Children, what what were you doing before? I'm sure people, the whole world, wants to know how do you start with your career. Yeah. What's you know? You, you think the whole world really wants to know? I do. Really? Well, okay. <laughs> I That's think cool. the whole world wants to know. All right, let's tell them. So let's yeah, tell us what, what was you know what was you doing before Married with Children? How'd you get into it and? You know, how'd you get into the acting thing? Uh, well, acting? I mean, I, I come from a showbiz family. My whole oh. family um, has, were, you know, either dancers, my father was a costumer, my brothers and sisters were actors. So it just kind of like fell into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm born and raised in, in, in LA. In LA, right. So awesome. it was just kind of like my backyard to go on auditions. Right. And, um, and then I, you know, I started off doing shows like people wouldn't know but like before Married with Children I did like Love Boat and Fantasy Island oh, wow. and Family Ties and like all those kind of shows and then when I was 12 I got Married with Children. That's awesome. Yeah. So basically you were like just this you know you were just surrounded by the, all the all the arts. Arts. Yeah we had to go. Up. Did you do any dancing too? I did dancing. My parents really wanted me to get into dancing, what and, kind of and, dancing? and music. Uh, oh god. Tap and, and really? jazz <laughs> all that 
but I, 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 I never really got into it, you know? I like music, I love music, you know, I love hip hop, I, 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 I awesome. definitely enjoy hip hop, and it's, it's, you know, something I still play around with. As a matter of fact, my, one of my good friends is Tom Green, oh, wow. and uh, he makes, people don't know it, and they will as soon, but he makes amazing hip hop beats, and so I go really? there and we, we mess around. Yeah. That's awesome. I heard that you know you were part of uh, Will I Am's career, which is a big, well-known producer and artist right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So how are you? How are, how are you part of that too? Also, oh uh, well, I mean, Will Will is, um, you know, I used to hit, uh, promote hip hop clubs in Los Angeles mm -hmm. my whole when I was a uh, uh, youth. From like the age sixteen to like while you twenty, were like yeah. Well, I was wow, doing awesome. yeah, yeah from like hip hop clubs for a yeah. hobby, right. and it was a lot of fun. And uh, but that's when hip hop was like in its baby. Not, I wouldn't say it's in baby infantile stages, but it was in its toddler stage. Right, you know exactly. I mean? I think. And, and, and you know, people weren't coming to hip hop clubs on Sunset. If you if you wanted to hear hip hop, you started to go down to the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we brought it up to Sunset. And you know, we freaked everybody out. All That's the West Hollywood awesome. Sheriff's Department were like, What's going on up here? You know. But anyway, so uh, people started coming and you know, we had NWA on our stage, we had we had everybody on that stage. Wow. And before, yeah, it was amazing. So then Will started coming, Will was just a kid and at that time he was Will One X. Yes. And uh, he started coming, we had a freestyle contest every week. So one 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 week Will came up and he was an unknown, you at know, that time? just hungry yeah, you know, yeah, young yeah. MC. And um, he would come and, and he, he started, he won one week and then he held he held the mic for literally, I don't know the exact amount of time, he would know better than I, but I think it was like a year or something, you or six way. months, wow. six months or a year, That's like awesome. yeah, no one could beat him. And he just would like, you know, and people were in the audience right. and they recognized and, and at that time, you know, Stacy Ferguson and all those people would hang right, out. Right. So it all, that whole movement started at Ballistics That's and awesome. sort of Will getting recognized and, I, you know, he, he met some of his partners there. And, so yeah, so it was it was that time. It was cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's like a different side of you that people don't even know about, like yeah. music, arts, and whatnot. Yeah. That's awesome because that's a you know. So do you rap too, or do you write? I, I, I write. Music? Yeah, I write. <laughs> I mean, I freestyle a little bit. You know, I do it more as a hobby, but it's something I love to do. Um, uh -huh. Uh, and you know, I plan on doing more of it, and, right? You know, but I don't and really you have can um, put that together for your the movies that you do. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, we want to do some storylines on starving about that too. Right, right. Uh, yeah, some, that's some awesome. Some comedy storylines about it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's see. Like as far as like the acting thing, um, what's the, you know I would say like the favorite uh, role that you like to play, or is there any role that you haven't played yet? And Ooh, um. You know, I, I really love comedy. It's like it's what I love to do, and 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 uh, when you you know that feeling of when you deliver a joke uh -huh. and you know that it kills, like that's a feeling that is um, it's just a great feeling. Right, know? right, so right. So that's what I love. Because everybody wants to laugh. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly, exactly. Right. And I, I love to do that. So, you know, as long as I'm making people laugh. I, I would love to play like you know a, a fun a fun mobster role. A you fun know? mobster yeah. role. Yeah, huh. we're actually writing a a, a a mobster film right now. My company and I call it little little. What is it? Little little kingpin. Little kingpin. Yeah, yeah. and you're the starring role, of course. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it's just awesome. it's silly, yeah. But yeah. it's it's you know mobster, shit, but it's in a comedy vein. Okay, because I know. So you've been in the, in the industry for a long time. What would you say? You know, for all the starving actors, actresses, what would you say the secret to the game and making it big in the game? And any is there anything that you would like to advise them or whatnot? <laughs> I'm. If the audience at home is hearing a sniff, any sniffing, is because my dog is <laughs> the dog is sniffing Stacey, in the microphone. Yeah. Such a sweetheart. <laughs> um, uh, I, would, I mean, my, my 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 only advice, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, this game is not an easy game for anybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, even for me, I mean, I have definitely have my down times. I mean, that's what Starving came out of. I mean, mm, we, okay. I wrote it because I was sitting around, you know, trying to make it happen and frustrated. And so, you know, I'd say persistence is key. If you give up, you know, you got to keep on going. But also you got to know if you're cut out for this. Is, right. Is, is, the, is the thing. You know, a lot of people come out here and they realize it's not for them. Right. But it's persistence and then just believing in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, no one exactly. else is going to. Period. Right. So those are the two keys. And then, you know, um, whatever else you can you, you can use to cope right. in between. <laughs> That's awesome. So, well, I guess because you know um, a lot of um, models, actresses, or whatever. I mean, the, the, what you're saying is pretty much just persistence. Because sometimes people come here in LA, and um, they just because you look good, they think that they can get the role, get the part. Yeah. I mean, do you think they they should just keep auditioning or knowing the right people? Is that still the case right now with well, the industry? Well, it's a fine line of what you're asking because you know there's a difference between persistence, which mm -hmm. is key, mm -hmm. and also 
beating a dead horse if it's mm -hmm. not what you're cut out to do. If That's it's not, true. If it's not, you know, what you're meant to do. Uh -huh. So I hate to tell anybody, you know, keep going, never give up. Right, if it's right. not, it's you not know, really if it's not really what you're exactly. meant to do. So I would say... You know, if you know in your heart of hearts and your soul of souls that that's what you're meant to do, mm -hmm, that's beyond true. any shadow of a doubt, then you gotta then just keep, keep on going, going, going. Yeah, exactly, and getting that's slapped true. around and beat up and along the way. <laughs> so, can you picture yourself doing like any romantic roles, like you know, or um, um, uh, serious action roles, dra drama? <laughs> yeah, I would like to do a romantic role. I don't know if anybody would hire me for one. <laughs> Why I'm not? Available for one out there. <laughs> yeah, make sure you guys call yeah. him. Any leading role. Leading, leading role. role. Be fun, a leading comment. I, I can picture comedy. you. You have the look for it, you yeah, know. Okay. Charisma, like it, like ladies, because you're you. not in front of him right now, so you have to get the whole you know, vibe and the smell of him. Oh, right they can now. smell. It. They can smell it right to the. They can. TV. They can yeah. smell it. Yeah, okay, because yeah. I can smell him. He's most really good. I don't know what that scent is, but. That's love. Baby. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, no, so any um, actors, actresses you would still want to work with, or. You know, oh man, who would I love to work with? God, directors. There's so many, there's so many great actors out there. I was just watching. I started rewatching The Sopranos uh, mm -hmm. with my girlfriend because she's never seen right. uh, all the episodes. She's never seen any of them, so I started rewatching with. Me too. But the actors on that show. You were talking about actors and. Oh man, they're awesome. Great, right. great, great performance. Yeah, because women usually, you know, we watch what. Um, in the city and yeah but there's some great female uh, <laughs> roles, roles on right? that show that are just amazing on the sopranos yeah. oh that's awesome edie falco on that show and uh, a couple right. of the other uh, other leads are amazing so it was just a natural thing for you because i know you like like i said in the beginning he's like what the top one of the top 50 best child actors in the world yeah tell me about that you were telling me oh no, no it's funny because vh1 you know my friends at vh1 they um, they asked me that you know to do the show. They wanted me to come right. on and do the like silly interview with the, the, uh -huh. the thing, and I didn't want to do it because it's just silly. Right. So they they, they guaranteed they promised me, and this is how they roll at VH1. You know, right. So people know out there. They promised me if I came and did the interview, that they would give me uh, they, I would be in the top ten. Uh -huh. And because I said wow. no, I was in the top. I was like 48, wasn't I? Or something? Uh, yeah, 48, yeah, exactly. 48. But still, like I mean, you know, everybody knows. So had I said yes, I would have been in the top ten. Because but you still the two to the people it doesn't even matter they don't even know the numbers 48 what yeah. is that 48 who cares That's i know hilarious. right you're you're married with children people still watch it to this day and how long has it been and people still literally because i still watch it yeah. and people still refer to you your character you know yeah, totally. uh, yeah exactly so well, it's been a lucky break i hope people will tune in to, to watch starving at, at, at crackle.com um, also, my charity, if we want to talk about that, is Oxfam America. Can you tell us what Oxfam is about, about the charity? Well, Oxfam, yeah. basically, they do it. They have their hands in everything. I mean, their main thing is is feeding people. Awesome. But they also help, you know, get get uh, uh, farmers uh, started and fair trade. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones who, like, really kicked off that uh, fair trade for coffee uh, companies mm -hmm. because, you know, all the coffee farmers were getting screwed out of their, their deals. And so, like, Oxfam was instrumental in getting, you know, free trade agreements. Mm -hmm. And so they just, they basically try to work for equality across the board that people mm -hmm. get fed and, and, and treated properly. That's so awesome. And they're really, like, boots to the ground. Uh, so if people want to get involved in it, don't make donations or whatnot, just go to Oxfam. Oxfam. Uh, they can go to, they go to Oxfam.com or they can go to, uh, they can go to OxfamAmerica.com uh -huh. or Oxfam. You just Google. Oxfam, just, Google right? Oxfam. just Google it, will you? Google D David <laughs> Faustino. It's also on my MySpace page. Right, that's how it's going to my MySpace you page. So. How do, what's the link? Do you know? It's myspace.com forward slash David Faustino. What's the craziest thing you've like you've seen on MySpace? I mean, that just out of the blue, like, um, what's the craziest thing that you've seen on MySpace? Like a fan that you know. Oh, <laughs> Look at his eyes I don't know where to begin. I really don't. <laughs> I've person, seen it all. Just put, I've you know, seen it all. I've heard it all. Oh. Yeah, you know, nothing you want to hear. Nothing, nothing the kids at home want to hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we want to hear that. Exactly. So besides the MySpace, um, is there anywhere else, like all the fans, because I'm sure they want to be able to reach you or see you, photos, you know, your naked photos on the porn sites. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, you know, where else can they um, find you? Do you have your website? Yeah, you? Uh, you know, I don't have a website. I don't use one because everybody goes to my MySpace. So, right. Uh, the best place to contact me is at uh, my MySpace page, which again is myspace.com forward slash David Faustino and also at crackle.com. Crackle I get messages com. there as well. Yeah. Okay, so make sure at Magic TV that you check uh, David Faustino's MySpace and crackle.com and search for the new show Starving. called Starving. Yes. Okay. And if they're going to Google it, it's star-v-i-n-g. Oh, awesome. Okay, because you, you got to know that. Yeah. So, 
Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll see you again soon. All right, darling. Thank you. All right. Bye. Hey, this is David Faustino, and uh, you know me as whatever, a bunch of different little characters on TV and stuff. And you are watching Ed Magic TV.